Hello there, M. Strange here for the Strange School, and in this video, I want to show you how to make custom Playmaker actions. And you might be saying to yourself, "Well, I don't know how to code. That's why I'm using Playmaker. How am I going to make custom actions? Because I think you need to know how to code to do that." And you do, but the amount of coding you actually have to do is so simple. It's really just cut and paste. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have this scene here, and I have this test object, and on it, I have a script. So this is just an example script that I made. It doesn't really do anything, it just holds variables. But a lot of what we're doing with custom actions is, is let's say you buy some other asset and it doesn't have Playmaker actions, but you want to grab the variables from that asset, from that script, and do something with them in Playmaker. Or you want Playmaker to set variables in that script. We're going to go through and do both of those things. Okay. So here we have the script. So this would be the asset or something else that you've got, something someone else made, because we don't know how to code, so someone else made the script. And then we have our example script action here. So what this action is going to do, I'll show you what it does first, and then we'll go look at the code, and then I'll show you how to customize it. So if I just press play right now, nothing is going to happen. All right. But all this thing does, let's go ahead and set a health variable. Let's go PM health. So I want to, oops, I spelled health wrong, but you get it. I want to take the health from the script. So let's just make that 45 and I want to store it in this variable. And then let's go save another um, target PM, something like that. And then I want to take the game object that's stored in the script and then get it over here into this action so we can do things with it in Playmaker. So I'm going to go like that and let's just press play to make sure this works. And there we go. We have the 45 from here, the target from there. Okay. So this is grabbing the variables from the script. And then with this one, I set this up to do the opposite. So we can take uh, a variable or a hard coded um, amount like this, and then this will send it over to the script. So like so, and now you see these numbers in there, right? So this can be useful. So let's just say you got a script um, that needs a target. It's like a guided missile or something. And you want to have a Playmaker FSM, find the target, and then you want to send the target or target position over to your script. That's what something like that would be for. But this is really useful. I've made a bunch of custom actions and most of them is just this simple variable stuff. So let's go see how it's done. Okay, so first we have the example script. Um, you won't ever need to make these. This is just the simple one I made for this example, and it just holds the three variables. It doesn't do anything. And so now let's go look at the example script action. So this is something that you can use if you want as a template for your custom actions. And this is what I do. I just copy and paste from like the same script over and over. So what I did is that I added these comments in here to try to explain, that's the green stuff, what it does, which each part does. So you can follow those, but let's just say you want to go through and do this as fast as possible. Well, let's see how that would be done. So this one's already using a script, so it's not really useful because it's already made. Let's go make or grab a new script. So uh, here's a new um, script here. Let's just call this item two or something. So I have another little script that I made for another project and I'm just gonna drop it on this. So what this does is that it spits out or it holds a bool and a string. So this enum thing sets the string so we're not gonna mess with this. This just sets a string like that and then it's gonna store the string here. So let's just press play, see what happens. Okay, so it just takes this and stores this here. So all this script really does is store a bool and a string. And we want to get both of those in our custom action. Okay? So what I'm going to do is that, so the, the um, template what I'm giving you is called example script action. And every single one of your scripts needs to have a specific name or else it won't work. So we're going to make one for the surface sound type. So let's go ahead and go create C sharp script. And let's call this surface sound type action okay so now this surface sound type is this script and then the action is going to be the playmaker script that we want so I'm going to double click on the action one 
um, and it's going to open it up in our script editor. I'm using Visual Studio, so it opens it here. And we just have this, right? This is not very helpful. So what I do, this is what I do, this is what you can do. Let's just go to our example script. I'm going to select it all, copy it, and I am going to paste it. All right, and all this stuff's going to turn red and make you fear for your life, but don't worry. All right. So what you need to do, when you look here under public class, what you want to do here is write the same exact things, the same name as the name of your script. So the name of our script is surface sound type action. So you want to name this with the same syntax as um, the name of the script. That's how it works. So this is surface sound type action like that. Okay, and you'll see those errors go away. So now this is good. So now the script has its own name. Okay. So service sound type action. So, and you can go and impress yourself because when you go back to Playmaker, if, now it's recompiling. That's what this little thing is here. Sometimes it takes a long time. Come on, Playmaker, and we go to Surface. Here's our custom script. But it's the same as the other one because we haven't changed anything. Okay, so we need to change some stuff. All right. So the variables we want to grab are a bool called hollow and a string called surface type. So we need to set a bool and a string. Okay. So let's go back to our custom action. And okay, what do we need to do? First here in the examples, in this type of right here, this is where we want, want to write the name of the script we're trying to access, okay? So the name is surface sound type. So I'm just gonna actually copy that. Go back, double click this surface sound type. So it's storing the script or we're checking for this script on this game object, which if you read the comments, it tells you the game object you set here. It's gonna look for the script there. Okay, now this is where we want to set our variables. We don't need a float, a game object, or a vector. So I'm going to delete those. And I'm just going to go public, because that's what we always do. FSM bool. This is the store of bool variable. And let's call this hollow boo. Like that. And then we need a string. So public FSM string down here and this is surface type string and when you're using these playmaker variables they always have FSM in front of them so you wouldn't just write bool because that would be a normal unity C sharp variable you want to put FSM in front of it so just copy the ones that are already in there okay and you see these turn red because this is to set these um, variables to null, but these variables don't exist anymore. So that's right, but it's good practice to set your variables to null at start. So just copy what's going on here. Um, so I'm just setting that bool to null and then surface type to string equals null. Okay. You can just leave this other stuff alone. And then the other thing you're going to change is that I'm gonna copy the surface sound type, that's the name of the script, and then I'm gonna put it in here. So this is grabbing it and storing it as a variable. And the script equals do, 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 surface sound type. What did I mess up here? Let's see, um, example script. Oops, I forgot this. Um, I didn't follow my own instructions. So I want to put the name of the script here so I can actually save, create a variable type, a custom variable type of the script. So you don't even have to understand what I'm doing. Just fill in the blanks, okay? And then I'm, now I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay, so what we did, I should explain it so you understand what's happening. Um, so we're checking for a component of this type. We're checking for the script and then um, we're making a custom variable type of the type of that script. And then here we're grabbing the script from the game object and storing it in this variable that we created up here. Okay, so don't get confused. And then um, what we're gonna do now, this is where we're gonna do the magic. Like it says right here, do the magic. This is where we're gonna store our variables. 
So what we want to do, we have a bool called hollow boo we want to set. So we want to go holly, hollow boo. And when you're dealing with playmaker variables, always add dot value like that. So we want to say the playmaker variable equals the variable from the script, right? So the way we do that is that we type the name of the script. This variable that we used is the script like that. And then to access the variables in the script, we just type a dot and then it'll bring this up and then you look for the variable. So here it is, hollow, that's it. So now this is going to grab the bool from the script and let's go see that work. Let's go see the magic. This thing will compile, okay. So this is the one that has the um, script on it. So when it finishes compiling, come on there, I'm gonna add a new FSM and we're gonna go grab our action that we're working with, the service sound type, and then let's make a new variable to hold it, hollow, oops, hollow bool, like that. Okay, so now let's go to the script. We're just testing it here. Let's set it to true, and let's see. It's false right now, and now it's true. See that? So it worked. Let's just set it to false to make sure. There we go, that's right. Okay, so now let's go and do the same thing with the string. So the string is called the surface type string. So we would just go um, surface type string dot value equals and the script dot and let's look for it surface type. And I uh, hope that's, yeah, that's the string. That's the right one. So now let's go back. I just saved it. So it will recompile here. And uh, come on, Unity Playmaker. Uh, you can do it. Then we want to store it. Let's call this surface type str. Like that. And then remember the way this works. I can set it here and then it's going to store that in a string. So then metal should show up here. And... Oh, I must have grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, let's go see, what did I do wrong? Surface type string dot value equals the script surface type. So I think these things are just happening uh, out of order. So I think it's looking for the variable for, before this set it. So what I'm gonna do is just add a slight delay so that we know the script has time to process. So we have this here, and then let's just go add a frame, next frame event, and finish. So we let one frame pass, because that'll probably give us time to grab this. So it's set to concrete, and there we go. So there's our concrete, right? Okay, so this is grabbing the string, and it's grabbing the pool. So that will show you how to create your own custom script. And then let's say we want to go the other way. Let's say we want to have this bool here set this bool. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just show you the reverse and all it is is reversing these sides. So if you look at this one, all you would want to do is go the script dot hollow equals hollow boo dot value like that and then I'm just gonna go comment this one out so now it should go the other way around so now if I set this script to come on compile okay to true then it should set this one to true let's go and there we go it said it's true 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 and just to prove it works let's set this to true and this to false and then play it again and it set it all right so with this uh custom action that will be uh, attached to this video you can make your own custom actions because you can use this for any scripts from anything as long as it has public variables so if you're trying to access variables in the script 
and they are not public if they say private just try switching them to public and then just grabbing them and that's how it works so hopefully this will help some people out there make some custom actions and until next time M. Strange from the strange school saying goodbye and if you like the way i do things please check out my two courses um one is for making entire uh, games with Playmaker. The other one's awesome AI made easy. It's doing more advanced AI using behavior trees, using behavior designer. So go check those out at thestrangeschool.com or just check out some of my other free videos. And until next time, bye.